so fun. Second best seller, you made a good choice, girl. I knew the two top yeah. ten. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor? Um, I wanted to try lemon lavender. Lemon lavender, your favorite flavor? I was looking at peanut butter cup. Awesome. Well, today's been a really busy day, and I really could use some mad dog in the kitchen. And since lemon lavender okay. is your favorite and my favorite, let's go make some cupcakes. Okay. Come on, girlfriend. <laughs> Fat Bottom Girls Cupcake Shop. We may be a small boutique cupcake shop, but we make a large amount of cupcakes, anywhere from 1,500 to 2,500 a day. We do weddings, birthday parties, all that good stuff. Boom. <laughs> Bottom girls pink. Awesome. And you know what? We have been waiting so long. We're salivating. <laughs> they look so oh. good. I want the one with the most icing, I believe. Oh my gosh, you guys did a great thank job. Thank you, thank you for helping me in the kitchen today. You're, You're right. awesome. And this is now the Mad Dog Cupcake, so okay. maybe new mid, new item. Yeah. Anybody that comes awesome. to Fat Bottom Girls has to order the Mad Dog Cupcake. Yeah, cupcakes. exactly. <laughs> I was injured in a swimming accident in 1988. It was a big change in my life, the life of my family, the life of my friends. I wasn't able to do some of the things I used to do, but I found out over the course of time that I was, I was able to do a lot of the things I, I like to do. I just had to do them differently. Started Southern Sportsman Foundation in 2004, and in 2008 we started our own nonprofit corporation. Our primary objective is taking people with severe mobility impairments or life-threatening illnesses on hunting trips. Every day is a learning experience after you, when you're dealing with a disability or a life-threatening illness. Hi, Hi Gina. Nice to meet you. Gina? Yeah, Joella. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you, too. Little Maddie. Hi, Hi Maddie. <laughs> Last year was the first year that I had an opportunity to work with the Southern Sportsman Foundation. I ended up with the only girl in the group, and the very last minute of the very last day, Lauren got her buck. That was the beginning, and um, immediately I knew that I had to come back and I had to do what I could to help get the message out that uh, they were available and wanted more kids and adults that had um, mobility issues to apply and come and, and accept this Hunt of a Lifetime Challenge. We want to thank everybody for coming out tonight and uh, for our ninth annual hunt here at Stark Creek Hunting Club. We got uh, three young men here come all the way. We got Connor Cummins from Tennessee. We got Clay Pearson from Alabama. And we got Logan Wilson from right here in Howard County. And these young men have uh, come out with us, going to do a little deer hunting and have a good time. Alright? Alright. 
Who's going on a hay ride? I'm ready to go trick or treat. How about y'all? Y'all ready for a hay ride? All you kids ready to get on a trailer on a hay ride? I'm in here a while ago. And, and I think there's a troll under the bridge at Starts Creek. So y'all hold on to your bridge. They made it really cool here at Deer Camp. They took all of us out on a hayride, not just the kids, and we went for a long ways and all these stops. There was maybe some ghosts and goblins, goblins that might have popped out at us. I think we saw a werewolf, and they made it a really, really great Halloween, and we didn't miss out on anything. Here we go, we got to our shooting house first morning. Today's does only. I think we're gonna have the first toe down. When we got out there, you know, we're just kind of getting to know each other, whispering, showing each other some pictures and things. Clay is just a great guy. You know, he's had this terrible accident that has totally changed their lives. But you know what? He takes it with a grain of salt and he doesn't, it doesn't let it, it doesn't stop him. He went off to take a pee because he's an old man and can't hold his bladder. His dad gets out of the blind and we're all sitting there waiting for him to come back, waiting for him to come back. And we look up and we're like, uh-oh, there's two does out in front of us. They came out into the, into the food plot. And I said to Clay, I said, um, Clay, what do you want to do? You could shoot one, but your dad's not here. Do you want to wait for your dad to come back? And he's like, I don't care what my dad's doing. I'm shooting one. So I said, okay. In the meantime, his dad was coming back. Cameraman looked at him and kind of stopped him. So his dad kind of got to watch it from afar, standing outside of the blind. ATVs for seven years and was racing in Pennsylvania at the time at Steel City Raceway and went up over a jump and landed on another racer and it flipped the ATV over on top of me and paralyzed me from the chest down my T4, T5 vertebrae. After my accident and stuff, it's been a big change. Beforehand though, it was just normal teenage life. Now it's pretty different having to use a chair, but I've adapted to it pretty well and stuff and it's just the way things are now. I just take it as it is and uh, don't let it slow me down. There she is, look at that. Nice. Good deal. Sweet. That's gonna be some good meat on the table, yeah. huh? Yeah. <laughs> good deal. Yeah. That was yeah, a fun thanks. morning, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, Clay got his first dough tomorrow. We're out for the big buck, hopefully the one that we saw. It came in like two minutes after yeah. you shot this hopefully. one. Hopefully. That was amazing, or even a bigger one. We'll settle yeah. for that. <laughs> This is a very nice ranch and the roads all through here are so nice and just amazing deer country. So we'll get back to camp and see what's going on and get this girl all cleaned up. Little Logan is such a sweetheart. At first when I had just met him I thought he was going to be quiet and shy and we got out to the blind and I realized he's a lot more talkative than I thought he was going to be and we went out with his dad and him and he has this cool little uh, setup for his rest. It's actually welded to his wheelchair. We set up the gun and it falls off. <laughs> and we just got out here, got all set up, and 
it broke. <laughs> His raspberry's gun broke. <laughs> We had to come back to camp and we had to wait for them to reweld it. Logan is all set up and ready to go again. All right, let's try it again. And it turns out that it was a perfect morning. We got it welded, we went back to the blind, and within 40 minutes, out stepped one doe and two fawns. Logan and being in camp with all these children has just made me realize how fortunate I am and my entire family is. I never realized how lucky I am just to be able to get up and walk to my blind or run out and look at my deer that I just shot and it really is a reality check to make you realize how fortunate you are. Even though they can't walk or have trouble doing things that are easy for us, they don't let anything get them down and they're able to do it just like we are. Now we like to, what we do when we get a deer is we say, rest in peace, dude. Thanks for an awesome hunt. Hunt of a lifetime. So on Friday we had a, a, like a special tag and it was a doe tag only. So the first deer that, that came out behind us was a, an eight pointer. He was, uh, he was a monster. We had to let him go because we had to only take a doe. Finally, we had one come out and she was just kind of grazing along and she was broadside the whole time. She never, she, she Connor had a perfect shot the whole time. He had decided that she was a, a mature doe and that that's the one that he wanted to take. And so we had a, we had a safe shot and we took her. So as we were walking up on the doe to, uh, to check her out, of course, I'm, I'm swelled up with pride. I'm proud of my son for, for taking her. He, he shot her and she didn't even take another, another step forward or anything. And so we went out there and I was, I was excited for him. I was very happy uh, that he had a, a perfect shot on her. There you go. Wow, she is a good one. Good job. Look at her, look at her mouth. <laughs> you disrupted her breakfast, dude. Good job. And when we went out there and he turned around and grinned, it just, I don't know. It made me, it made me feel really, really special to be a part of it. Our mission is to provide quality hunting and outdoor opportunities for those with severe mobility impairments and or life-threatening illnesses. We believe that there is a place for everyone in the outdoors, no matter what their ability or disability. And that's why our motto is sharing the outdoors. There are a variety of different ways to help out, monetarily or with land or with uh, uh, labor or with prayers, but you can get in touch with us through our website at www.sharingtheoutdoors.com, also on our Facebook page, uh, Southern Sportsman Foundation. We try our best not to turn any contribution down, no matter what it is.
but the years between.